Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Joel Freudman from True Precious Metals. How are you today? I'm doing well, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. Joel, you, you listed, what, six months ago? That's right. We started as a mining issuer in May 2021. Great. And since then, I saw an announcement, 5,000 meter drilling program. Can you give us some of the highlights? Absolutely. We're doing a 5,000 meter program at our Golden Rose project, which is our flagship property. We've drilled two zones, one of which is known to have gold already. One of the most, one of the coolest things is we pulled some drill core out of the ground that has visible gold. So you can actually see it with your naked eye. It's an excellent result. We're very pleased with the progress and we look forward to wrapping it up within the next week or so. Of course, that may be cool to you, but to me, what's really cool is Eric Sprott's position. Can you tell some shareholders or investors that may not be familiar with this story about Eric Sprott's involvement? Definitely. I mean, we did a three and a half million dollar all institutional financing back in June of this year. As part of that, Eric Sprott, the Canadian precious metals billionaire, became our largest shareholder with over a 13 percent stake. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our second largest shareholder, though, which is TSX listed Altius Minerals. They have roughly eight hundred million dollar market cap and they're a very savvy Newfoundland based royalty and project generation company who optioned us our flagship Golden Rose project. So we have about 25% of our float held by two major institutional investors. We're very pleased to have both of their support. So let me ask you, because I'm sure investors out there are going to be going, why is this company attracting so much interest from these large players? Is it location or what would you, what do you think the reason is? You know, in, in real estate, it's location, location, location. And I would think that in geology, it's very similar. Uh, on a map, we're sandwiched between two significant gold deposits, including most notably Marathon Gold, who's TSX listed and who has over 4 million ounces of gold. It's a huge deposit, the largest undeveloped resource in Atlantic Canada. We're literally next door. We're between the two largest houses on one of the best streets in the entire province. And that real estate not only cannot be taken by any other companies, but in addition, it's known to host favorable geology. So it's not simply nice land, under the ground, it's known to be very prospective. And so we've got a great land position and a great jurisdiction. Well, that's one reason. But perhaps the other reason, as I've told Investor Talk audience members before, you have an amazing background. You're merger and merger and acquisition uh, expert, are you not? <laughs> I'll take your words. I like the phrasing. I am a securities and mergers lawyer by training. I love doing deals. I think that's very much reflected in True's transactional entrepreneurial mindset. We closed our Altius deal mid this year. Prior to that, we did four or five property transactions in the span of five months. And since completing the Golden Rose deal in May, we rattled off about a half dozen further property transactions, staking, options, and acquisitions to more than double the size of Golden Rose. So we're definitely transactional when we think we can pick up opportunities. Well, there you go. And of course, one of my notes that I wanted to ask you about, because I saw someone tweet about it. They're like, Joel's gone an acquisition spree. What should we expect in 2022? So there you go. Could you answer that tweet that was sent to me about true precious metals? Sure. I, it's you know more of the same. I mean, most importantly, we're going to do what we can to deliver on the guidance we issue to the market. It is important to us to execute we're going to roll out drill results over the course of the first quarter, which means a consistent set of news flow as we get results back from the lab should be very exciting. And we'd hope it re-rates our company based on geological results. And beyond that, we'll certainly look at any other corporate level initiatives that could help enhance the value of the company, things like further M&A or other transactions, alongside, of course, ongoing exploration at Golden Rose based on all the data we've gathered to date. So we think we have a very exciting year ahead. Uh, and we very much look forward to continuing our progress. Well, speaking of how you're going to move forward with that progress, you've done two financing since you went public in the last six months. I'm assuming we have plenty of capital to keep moving forward. That's right. We have a very strong cash position. At September 30th, we had about $4.9 million cash in the bank. We are deploying that on ground exploration as well as, of course, drilling at Golden Rose. But we'll finish the year with millions of dollars in the bank which is comfortable enough, not only for further exploration in the new year, but also the corporate overhead needed to sustain it. So we're pretty happy with our treasury, especially in times like now. I think we've hit most of the highlights from 2021, which have been significant. What should we 
What should we look forward to in 2022? Is there anything we haven't hit here? Obviously, you're going to proceed with, you know, your acquisitions around your Golden Rose project. But but is there anything else you can share with us? The big catalyst is going to be the drill results, really, because it's it's our first chance to prove up what's at Golden Rose, what all the other scientific data and, and geoscientific analysis is leading us to believe is there. And we're going to have to take the strategy a little bit from there, which I think is the right way to approach it. We'll be systematic and prudent with the capital we have left in the bank and evaluate further corporate moves, as well as things like building out the exploration team and, if need be, the corporate team on the backs of our results from Golden Rose, which really will guide what we're able to do. But certainly m and is going to be on the radar if we get a good opportunity that comes up for the company. Well, Joel, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. And we're looking forward to seeing what True Precious Metals does in 2022. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate the opportunity to be on here as always. And to everybody who's taking the time to watch the video, just want to thank you for your time and attention and wish you and your families safe and happy holidays.